Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Queen TGZ and in this video we are going to do a weapon breakdown of the Divine Bird Staff. So that can be found right over here on my Archmage. So yes, so this is actually a weapon that came out I believe last year during the Dragon Quest 8 event. I did not get any uh, weapons from that event whatsoever. But uh, this weapon uh, recently did come up in uh, the most recent revival banner and I actually got two of these so I actually have upgraded uh, put one on the other to level it up but uh, yeah so definitely this is something that I did want uh, since it does have a very powerful Mara based spell that I always wanted and that would probably would have helped me uh, in a lot of battles besides using uh, I believe going to be the calligraphy staff using uh, Marizoma or actually Marizoma Kai since that was actually upgraded in the forge but uh, now what I want to do is actually go and uh, go over the basic stats of this so going over this particular weapon so you're going to see here that is basic stats you're going to have uh, plus 115 uh, in terms of magic power plus 13 for healing power and plus 66 uh, attack power so again this is uh, these stats are going to be for the actual uh, increase to that uh, additional level which actually does give me a plus five uh, spell damage so going over here uh, so here from level one you're going to have uh, two things here so plus 20% to MP recovery for regular attacks with staves so then also we're going to have plus 10% to mirror spell damage then for let's see level 33 we're going to have plus 5% damage to demons level 36 plus 5% damage to beasts level 40 we're going to have plus 12 uh, max MP if you have expertise with this weapon and at level 45 you're going to have plus 12 to magic power if you have again expertise with this weapon and like I said since I actually did use uh, my extra one to actually upgrade this one I actually do have plus 5% um, to my spell damage so extra with this particular weapon so that should actually work out quite well so uh, with that said I want to go into this battle which actually should be uh, quite good so um, I still actually have not used this battle uh, this weapon in a battle yet so I'm um, pretty much just going to go ahead into a random battle okay so here we go with this battle so this should be actually uh proven to be uh quite good uh but uh real quickly here uh you're going to actually see though this is on my ranger right uh my ninja right now uh pretty much over here on my actual uh archmage on the right you're going to actually see a couple of different buffs as well you're going to see a debuff on one of the enemies over here so pretty much this is going to be the effects of the uh sudden activation ability which is going to be shichikenja no ishi which is will of the seven sages so this is going to cost 18 mp and what it does is that at the start of the battle the wielder gains uh one uh uh, gains one rank uh, increase to defense and spell resistance while one of the enemies um, the next uh, mirror damage taken uh, by that enemy is actually increased so if I use a mirror based attack on that enemy uh, pretty much uh, the uh, effects of that mirror damage are actually going to be increased so again uh, what I want to do is actually go ahead to uh, my archmage so I'll see you back soon so here with my uh, Archmage, I want to go over the first ability of this particular weapon, which is going to be right over, let's see, right here. One that we have seen before uh, plenty of times, this is going to be Mahado. So this is going to cost 24 MP, and what it does is with a large pillar of ice, this does moderate Hado spell damage to all enemies, so going to be like this. So again, back with my Archmage, uh, the next ability that I want to go over is also one that we have seen before on uh, the channel. So this is going to be Puff Puff. So this is going to cost 15 MP. And pretty much, uh, if you remember Puff Puff, this is going to charm one enemy. Um, the chances of this happening are actually uh, a bit low. Uh, so pretty much, uh, I probably have a better chance of getting this on the Red Panther right over here. So going to try it on this enemy. 
and in this case it missed but uh, in the chances that uh, it would actually have gone in uh, that enemy would have been charmed but uh, here I still want, I'm going to not try to actually try to get it in this video I actually want to go to the next ability so I'll see you back soon okay I'm back again to my uh, Archmage. So uh, here pretty much uh, what I want to actually do is go over pretty much its uh, pretty much its main ability which is going to be right here. This is going to be Shikinja no Joen which is going to be Purifying Flame of the Seven Sages. This is going to cost 46 MP and what it does, it does massive merit spell damage to one enemy and has a rare chance that the next merit damage taken by the enemy will be increased. So since it's going to actually lose that buff I actually want to go attack the enemy on the right over here so going to look like this so yeah 10,000 damage so that's actually quite good okay and back again to my archmage which is going to actually have its final ability so uh, i pretty much saved this one for last because um this is going to use up all my mp so this is going to be madante so uh pretty much uh madante uh the soul cost is varies uh pretty much depends on the amount of mp that you have in this case i have 783 left so pretty much unleashing all magic power converting mp to power this does spell damage to all enemies that cannot be reflected but enemies that take damage from magante or madante and survive will gain resistance to the spell so uh, we have seen uh similar effects uh with this um the most recent weapon from uh the book of heaton uh has a spell that has a super this is considered a super um a super uh, spell so uh, when you when a character survive they actually get a resistance to it but uh, Madante is going to look like this so here just going to go ahead and finish off this battle but uh, yeah definitely um, with the amount of damage that I saw from Purifying Flame of the Seven Sages, that actually looked, um, I'm actually very satisfied. Um, definitely, uh, having, uh, Magical Awakening on is really going to really increase the power of that particular spell. And here, I, I got a soul for the, uh, for the Cyclops here, I got a D. Okay, so pretty much those were all the abilities of the Divine Bird Staff. Um, so like I was saying, I was really happy to actually get this particular weapon. So um, pretty much like I was just saying, uh, with Magical Awakening, uh, the uh, Purifying Flames of the Seven Sages, that's actually going to do some pretty good damage, uh, I believe. So definitely a lot more than Marizoma. And pretty much um, also uh, has an effect of actually... Uh, increasing the amount of uh, merit damage taken to the enemy as well so uh, things with like uh, echoes and then also the multicast um, possibly getting or casting four of these spells in a row that's actually going to be quite good uh, especially if I get a, a battle with an enemy that's going to be weak against a meta um, the only thing that could possibly beat this is if let's say uh, the New Year's uh, banner is going to be something that's going to be a spell that's going to be merit spell base That's going to be even more powerful than, than this or something that's going to come out next year That could be more powerful than this particular spell um, It could happen, but as for now, this is going to be uh, the best merit spell that I do have against a single enemy in this game So uh, pretty much yeah, that's going to be it for this particular weapon It doesn't have a whole lot of abilities only five uh, if you included uh, the sudden activation ability but uh, yeah with that said um, I will uh, have the rest of my uh, top 10 for the uh, best weapons of 2023 that I do have in my inventory that will be coming out very soon so please stay tuned for that but with that said going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.